Hello YouTube. So this is my first YouTube video and just getting right to the point. Uh, the reason I'm starting a series here this is a 90 gallon saltwater aquarium. And this little guy right here is why I am starting this YouTube channel. It's a little baby clown triggerfish. Um, I'm guessing he's maybe an inch and a half or two inches in size, just kind of correlated to my finger. Like I said, it's a 90 gallon aquarium. Um, tank mates. I've got the two Ocellaris clowns back here. And there is a dog face puffer that's a little bit bigger than the clown trigger somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. My son's giving me some direction. He's tucked back under. So he's probably about an inch and a half to two inches. <clears throat> so the reason I am doing this video is I've kept trigger fish in the past. I've kept uh, Picasso trigger fish successfully in a community aquarium, saltwater, for years. And I have some questions about clown triggers in particular. I know they get fairly large. Uh, I've seen a few adults in my life, and uh, I've seen one that had a really belligerent personality like you often hear, and all the others that I've ever seen have been very well-behaved fish. Um, I've seen them in tanks with clownfish and uh, rats or chorus, uh, chromis, um, rather peaceful fish. Um, so I'm curious to see about behavior. I'm curious to see about their growth rates. Uh, and I'm also curious to see how long it's going to be peacefully living in this aquarium, a 90 gallon aquarium, four foot long. Uh, I think it's 18 inches deep and 21 inches tall, I believe. I am open to upgrading at some point in the future. I would like to actually uh, get a 300 or 375 or 500 gallon aquarium. It's kind of a lifelong dream of a lifelong fish keeper of 35 plus years. And so I'm going to update this occasionally and see how he's growing, how his uh, behavior is. I figure I have at least a good two years in this tank. And I want it to be, rather than, oh, these are big fish and nasty. Like I said, I want to have a progression, a timeline progression, so people can reference this if they're looking and say, okay, this was the growth rate of his particular fish, uh, behavior, how long it was in a this size aquarium. And then people can plan accordingly for their own uh, uses and needs. So this guy... Uh, he, I feed him about three times a day. I give him, uh, flake food, some seaweed, which they eat. The puffer fish really likes the seaweeds. Surprising to me. I've been giving him some frozen shrimp and also some, uh, what was it? Krill and mysis shrimp as well, freeze dried. Uh, the, the normal shrimp is frozen, obviously, so it's pretty fresh. And, uh, so here we go. And that's why this is going to be a blog kind of about the triggerfish, the clown triggerfish. Secondary about the dog-faced puffer. And who knows, we might do something else in the future as far as one or two more tank mates for them. And uh, a couple years down the road, maybe we will get that tank upgrade that I've been referencing a few times here that I would like to do. And I know that long term will probably be uh, necessary. If not, the shop that I got him from, uh, they do take trade-ins. I've already talked to him about that. So, like I said, I'm looking to get at least two to three years with this guy, and uh, hopefully longer than that if I get the top tank upgrade that I want. So that's what this uh, video blog here on YouTube is about. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. And this is uh, September, uh, first week of September 2020, if you're wondering. So little time stamp there.